In this vlog, we begin our ascent towards the Rochdale Canal, which is currently decorated in autumnal coloured stoppage signs. Because we're heading towards a waterway that needs a lot of love and attention. That is a lot in Really worried about that. So we need to get prepared this week and we think Manchester is the best place to do it. It's gone under that bridge and about to leave Lim for an evening cruise. In order to get nearer to Manchester, now I've left late this evening because I have spent the morning doing something really exciting in that direction. I'm hoping round this corner to see something very unusual and very exciting. Now this here is the Manchester Ship Canal. And where we are in Thowell is a very special little ferry. It is. Look at this. There has been a ferry running here for over 130 years. Although it was operated by rowing a single oar at the back. Cycling groups, people that come from the other side, this side going for lunch at the pub. Um, loads of different kids in the summer that just want to experience the boat. Brilliant, it's so good that you've kept it going. And this is the tiny ferryman's cottage where the ferryman of the past would bring a sewing machine and make theatre costumes while they waited for passengers to arrive. Did you say you were going to row us across? Oh no, or you try. Oh okay. That's a fail safe that. Oh is it, is it? It used to cost a penny to travel across the Manchester Ship Canal in this ferry and that's what gave it its name, the Penny Ferry. But today you can just make a donation and that goes towards the RNLI. Bolin is the name of a river close by, but in the Urban Dictionary it means you're doing great and I promise you, you will be doing great if you have a trip with Colin on Bolin. Lim is just beautiful. It's like walking in a film set. And over there is the Heritage Centre where I met Glynis and Ray. What two really passionate people about their local community to me. They really were wonderful. So it's well worth a visit when you go into Lim to go to the Heritage Centre. Ray Banton. And you work in here, do you, Ray? Uh, volunteer here. Volunteers. Oh, volunteers. Oh, volunteers. What Glynis and Ray don't know about Lim really isn't worth knowing. I'm going to look at your paintings, but you keep a sketchbook and you're part of a local sketch group. I'm the leader of the U3A sketching out group. We go out and about all over the place making sketches. To I did sketch. GC advanced level art when I was 17. Then nothing for 50 years whilst I've been in industry. And I took it up again when I retired. Wow. And a lot during COVID. Yes. <laughs> Ray sells his wonderful artwork in the Heritage Centre. Actually, he's even done a picture of the Heritage Centre itself. And something else that caught my eye and also made me think of what could be to come was this. 
<laughs> out of Lego. I think we're gonna have a lot of ice this year where we're going. It's the old ice boat that used to come and smash up the ice so that work could continue along the canal. Zeph has enjoyed Lim because there's loads of gorgeous walks. There's the walk around, the dingle, the dam and the Trans Pennine Way. She's loved all of them. Past the dingle, where the parakeets fly, all the way down to the dam. This is the dam. There's an amazing, mysterious world of fungi in Lim. Gorgeous bay polypore. Stump puffball. So you get giant puffball, common puffball, I think. And this is stump puffball. This is the common puffball. Now this, this is Earth Star without the starry bit. It's lost its points, I think. I've never seen this. I'd like to see one with its proper star. This bit here would be like in a star shape. Look, and here's one here. This is what I'm talking about. Look. I'm so excited. Surf, look what I found. That's a cheeky face. I did not think the parakeets were this far north, but they have moved northwards. And apparently they're causing loads of trouble on the allotments. I think we're going to be travelling for about an hour this evening and it's just to give us a bit of a head start for our massive journey into Manchester in the morning. of us we have got the Pennines which is where we're heading now for the autumn and the winter oh it's going to be exciting but it's going to be such a challenge to get in there but I put the thoughts of the challenge behind me and I just soak up this gorgeous light that the evening has gifted us on this cruise gets narrow here see how narrow it is in this section so it's definitely one boat at a time section We're coming into Altrincham, so I think we're going to stop near here rather than carry on any further because we're going to be moving in the dark and it looks quite nice here. Well, it's beautiful, more than quite nice, doesn't it? Look gorgeous. So, see how far we can get before we lose complete light, but it's going to be in this area somewhere. 
At the moment, the sun is in its peak of its 11-year cycle, and all the way until mid-2025, it's letting out all this plasma, which is interfering with Earth's geometric field, and meaning that we get to see the northern lights in places we wouldn't normally see them. And we could see them tonight. So we're going past the linotype works on the left hand side here. In the crazy evening sky, it's gorgeous. Lovely colours. Suddenly got really cold. Sun is just about disappeared. And we're coming into Altrincham. And now it's just about finding a good place to moor just overnight and then get going again really early in the morning by really early I mean 10 <laughs> because uh, I've got work to do but that's early, that's still early tomorrow's cruise is going to be about 5 hours I think but there's a lot of locks so it could take much longer we moored outside a shopping centre so the bright lights meant that we missed the amazing aurora borealis Hopefully one day I'll get to see it. Okay, it's 10 a.m. in the morning. Just leaving Altrincham. Today we're going to tackle the Rochdale Nine, a notoriously difficult set of locks, taking us into Manchester. Woo! <laughs> Where we will moor for a week in a marina. Uh, that's because I've uh, got a lot of shopping to do. The Rochdale's going to be really cold. This is the furthest north we've ever been on the narrowboat. I've never experienced a northern winter before. And I want to make sure that I've got, you know, when I'm on the stern deck and Zephyr, that we're warm enough. Uh, Zephyr hates coats. She never likes wearing a coat. She hates raincoats and winter coats so I want to try and get a coat that she feels comfortable in it's gonna be hard I think she'd be okay if it was the duvet on the bed because she loves that but she can't wear the whole duvet looking for bargains in Manchester got a tram oh it's getting exciting old-fashioned word for the bird song thrush so I want to know did a song thrush or did song thrush used to nest nearby this bridge I couldn't find out where it got its gorgeous name from but I absolutely love it Russell nest bridge. pretty through there is the Manchester ship canal Stephanie citified is feeling citified Hey, 
these bridges are beautiful. Get the first lock soon. And I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm in a really big city on narrowboat Alice Grace, I just get goosebumps. Oh, it's all happening, it's so exciting. was caught, looked like it was caught and it was starting to tip so I had to reverse right back again it's very green and leafy look how clear the water is you can see every trolley and everything but it's also really shallow it's alarming to me how shallow that is Another very splashy one at the front. Wow. It's incredible. in the middle of Manchester on a Friday night. I can't quite believe it. We're in Manchester this morning, aren't we, Zaf? Trying to find some stuff for winter. Try on the coats, but still we got you some treats. Don't know how that happened. Sheltering from the rain in a hotel lobby. Do you like it? These element jackets. with it <laughs> we can play with it outside what do you think oh, one of these these are antler bones and I love these because they're all natural
Shoot. I haven't seen the northern lights, but I rode the penny ferry with its bottom bright and cherry like a borealis berry. I haven't seen the northern lights, but things do not look dim, for the earth's aglow in limb with stars on dingle's rim. I'm ignored by the aurora, but adore Manchester's show. The locks might overflow, yet those trams rock in yellow. And even though I'm yet to see the sun's plasma perform, I can wrap myself up warm in my own magnetic storm.